What's up YouTube? It's your girl Sophia from RSVP and I'm back with a new video. Today I'm going to do a quick wig review so if you're interested in seeing a new full lace wig stay tuned. <laughs> contacted by the company Eva Wigs and um, they asked me to pick out a wig on their website and try the wig out so that I could come back to you guys and let you know how this wig is. I went on the website and I picked a wig. The wig that I picked was the celebrity look uh, for Nicole Scherzinger from the Pussycat Dolls. I picked that wig. They have really, really great customer service. They follow up with you on the specs of the wig, the cap construction, all of that stuff. And then after taking all of that information from you uh, they custom make your wig once they make your wig they send you photos of the wig inside and out to get your approval on the wig before they ship it out now this was an extra step that I thought from a customer service perspective was really really Evil awesome. Eva wigs come in a cardboard box like this that's branded. They also wrap your wig in um, a cellophane plastic bag with a net over it. Um, the specs on my particular wig which also comes in your package when you receive it is um, the product number of the wig that I got was CEW105. It's 100% Indian Remy human hair. The hair density on this wig is 100% medium. Hair length is 22 inch. Um, the hair color that I got was a 1B off black. The hair texture is silky. The lace color of my cap is light brown. My cap size was average and the cap construction was a glueless lace cap. Um, once you open your package, you get uh, your information on the wig, they give you a free comb uh, wig cap, and it's just those mesh wi wig caps with the opening. Um, I think it's easy for you to add the clips with these wig caps, um, to clip them on, which is why they send these wig caps. And then, of course, they send you a lot of extra clips that you can attach in other places to um, secure the wig. So now let's get to the wig. The wig is right here. I haven't actually named her yet, um, but I really, really like the wig. I think the construction of the wig, the texture of the hair, everything about this wig is amazing. The only one thing I would probably change, and this is not for every single person, just for me specifically, is when I picked the wig, I picked 100% density, and that would be the only thing I would change in the future, is I would go for a wig with a little bit of a heavier density. But the reason why I would um, increase the density on my next Eva wig is because I wear up to five bundles of hair. So when you wear five bundles of virgin hair, or even four bundles of virgin hair, and then you go to something like this, the density you notice right away. It's a lot lighter, it's a lot more airy and it's not a downfall by any means because with summer coming and the heat coming it is hard to maintain five bundles so this is a really great go-to wig that you can kind of just throw on go to work with it go out anything you want to do so that's the only thing I would say about um, the wig the density on this wig is pretty much um, just right if you want a natural look me I like an big hair thick hair so obviously that's why I would increase the density the next time around but for the most part um, it's a really really nice wig I tried it on already and I will try it on in the next clip and show you guys how nice and natural it looks um, but before I do that I'll just show you um, some of the construction so you have your lace here that's my lace that I'm going to remove on the inside of the wig, you have um, an adjustable strap at the back. You also have two side clips, and then you have one top clip. Um, I'm going to adjust these clips, sew in a couple more so that I don't have to do the elastic method, see how that works. If that doesn't work, then I would attach an elastic to secure it a little bit better. Um, but that's what the wig looks like. That's what the texture of the hair looks like. It's in its natural state right now. I haven't put an iron on it. I haven't washed it. I haven't done anything to it. 
So that's pretty much it. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. I'm just going to cut the lace off the wig, try it on, and come back and see you guys. Okay, so I'm back. Okay, so now I have on the wig, I cut the lace away from the hairline. And it's so nice. It's nice and flat, light and airy. Um, it has like a natural wave to it, as you guys can see here on the side, which I like. And I'll just leave it like this for a while. This is what uh, my part looks like for now. I just tweezed it a little bit just so I could come on and show you guys what the wig looks like. Wow, really, really nice wig for every day. Let me just comb through it. And show you guys that too. What a pretty wig. There you go. And you guys know me, I wear my hair parted in the middle pretty much all the time. I haven't trimmed it or anything, layered it or anything like that. But yes, out of the bag, you could definitely just put this wig on and go. It's nice and flat, you guys. Really, really a nice wig for every day. Wow, I like this one a lot. So that's it. That's my Eva wig, CEW105. I'll leave all the information linked below for you guys to check out the website. Um, nice wig. Really, really nice for every day. Um, if you don't want to bother with making your own U-part wig and you just want a wig that you could throw on, which would be awesome for summer, I definitely recommend their website. Um, yeah, so leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks so much for watching you guys. Peace out.